S7, area and circumference of circles. Hopefully you have worked with area and circumference of circle formulas probably in 7th, 8th grade math. Um, but let's do a little refresher. So area, area of a circle is pi r squared. Now for pi, in some instances, we're going to use Good. Let me erase that. That's nasty. Pi equals 3.14. It's not just 3.14. It's a never-ending decimal. <coughs> but universally, we just use the 3.14. Sometimes. I'll explain that better in just a little bit. Now remember, area is how much room is used to be able to find the, um, how much is covered within a circle or any kind of shape. But circumference is only, the word circumference is only used for a circular part, um, and it's the distance around, it's not the perimeter of a circle. Now for circumference, there are two formulas that you could use, they're both the same thing. Um, I usually use 2 pi r, basically because it has the same stuff in area as it does for circumference. It's just we're doubling it instead of squaring it and everything. Or, because it's 2 times r, r is the radius, and if you have 2 of them, It's the same thing as having a diameter. So you can do 2 pi r, double the radius, and then multiply by pi, or have a diameter and multiply by pi. It's the same thing. I'll try to use them both kind of interchangeably. All right, here we go. So on this, the radius of the circle is 5. What is the circumference? So because it gave me the radius, I'm going to use 2 pi r as my formula. So the circumference is 2 times pi times radius, and the radius is 5, and 2 times 5 is 10, so 10 pi. It says um, give the exact answer, so 10 pi is the exact answer. Um, if you used 3.14, remember I just said that 3.14 is just the abbreviation for what pi is. If you used 3.14, then you wouldn't be giving an exact answer. Okay, the diameter of the circle is 5. So what is the circumference? So this time it's asking for circumference and it gives you the diameter. To be pi times 5, and we like to put the number in front of the pi symbol, so 5 pi would be your answer. Okay. The diameter is 16, what is the area? What you want to start off with is figuring out what you're looking for, and once we figure out what we're looking for, we're going to write the formula down so we know what to use. And what does this R represent? It represents radius. And what is this? This is diameter. So th the diameter goes all the way through the center of a circle from edge to edge. And so if the diameter is 16, then what would the radius be? It would be 8. So pi times 8 squared. 8 squared is not 16. It is 64. So this would be 64 pi. If you did 16 squared, it would be 256 pi, and it would be the wrong answer. Okay, the area of the circle is 81 pi. So they basically give us the answer, and it wants to know what is the diameter. So because it gives us the answer to the area, we're going to write that formula down. And I know the area is 81 pi, so I'm going to put 81 pi right there for A. Then I'm going to write this side down. 
And then I'm going to solve for R. The reason, or I'll tell you why to solve for R in just a little bit, but because there's pi on both sides, the pi's would cancel out, and I'd be left with 81 equals R squared. So something was squared to get 81. How do you figure out what was squared? You square root it. So our R is 9. Now, if it asks for what the radius was, then our answer would be 9. It's asking for the diameter. So if the radius is 9, then this radius is 9. Then what's the diameter? 18. Okay, this is one problem. I was pausing because I couldn't figure out what was going on. So this is a word problem. It didn't give us a picture for it. But let's see if we can figure it out. So it says the circumference is 2 pi. So if it says the circumference is 2 pi, that is so not right. The circumference is pi times diameter. And the circumference is 2 pi. So I'm going to put that right there. And I'm going to bring pi diameter down, pi's will cancel out, so d is 2. What is 2? The diameter. What's it looking for? The radius. In the radius, you just take half of the diameter, so the radius is 1 centimeter. The area of a circle is pi, so we used rate area equals pi r squared. The area is pi, so I'm going to put the pi right there and bring pi r squared down. And it says, what's the radius? Well, so I'm going to, my objective is to get r by itself. And if these cancel out, you're like, well, nothing's left on the left side. Well, there is because there's an understood 1 there. So 1 equals r squared. If we take the square root, then r is 1. So the radius is 1. What is it looking for? The radius. What did we find? The radius. So that's going to be your answer. Circumference is 6 pi. So the circumference is pi times diameter. The circumference is 6 pi. And we use pi times diameter to get that, or 2 pi r. Either way, in this case, I like to use the pi times diameter because I'm basically done. And it says the diameter is 6. Well, what's it asking for? It's asking for the area. Uh-oh. So area equals pi r squared, but I have the diameter. I need the radius. So what would the radius be? It would be 3 because if the diameter is 6, then the radius is half the diameter. So the radius is going to be 3. So it's asking for the area. We bring down the pi. The radius is 3, and we're going to square that. 3 squared is not 6. 3 squared is 9, so the area is 9 pi.